Hey everyone and welcome back to the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. Happy Thursday as I record this. Uncle Dan's Best Bets Week 13. Before we get into the picks, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Did it again. Four. Not one, not two, not three. Four straight winning weeks. Last week we went seven and five. We are now 57, 42, and two on the season. That is a percentage of 56%. We are hitting by far the best we've ever done here on Best Bets, and we will look to continue it going. I got my lucky Brian Dable shirt here. Spoiler alert, don't have the Giants as a play this week. But we look forward to, and I want to get this on Thursday. And again, it is also important to get some of these plays in when I give them out, I've been trying to give them out earlier than I have in years past because the numbers move, especially late Saturday into Sunday. Um, because last week was a prime example. I got the Dolphins team total at 29 and a half, and I gave it out here. I know a lot of people got it at 30 and a half, and that was a horrible, horrible beat. But I wanted to get on here because, especially on Thursday, to send this out and get this up on the YouTube channel. Um, was because I got four plays for the Bills game on Thursday. So let's get right into them. I got 10 plays total. I've got four on Thursday and then another six pack on Sunday. We will start with one of my favorites here. And there are some that I put a lot of thought and effort and numbers and analytics into. And there are some that are just gut. This one's a little bit of both. Josh Allen over seven and a half rushing attempts. You can get it on DraftKings from minus 105. All right. I think Josh is starting to feel better with his elbow. When we had the elbow injury, it didn't seem like he wanted to run all that much against um, Cleveland. He ran the ball 10 times against the Lions. He really kind of sparked. Um, really, it was all that he had at times. In his last seven games, eight games, eight games against New England, Josh has run, and he has run well. Six attempts, 12 attempts, six attempts, four attempts, 10, 7, 5, 5. So he has never ran the ball less than four times against New England. It's averaging for his career against New England 6.9 rushing attempts per game. Okay, so numbers at seven and a half. So we got to get to eight. Add in the factor that Deion Dawkins is out, so David Questenberry will probably be at left tackle. Um, I think he's going to be under a lot of pressure. And because of that, I think he's going to need to take off some times to negate negative plays. So I think Josh will take off more. We also know in big games, in big moments, Josh likes to take off. Um, he said that getting hit sometimes settles him down. So I really like Josh Allen to have eight rushing attempts in this one. And I think some of those could even be kneel downs at the end because I think the Bills win the game. I'm not sure if they cover. So Josh Allen over rushing attempts. I like Dawson Knox over three and a half receptions. You can get it on DraftKings for plus 125. All right, last week, offense struggled. Um, nothing really looked easy. Dawson Knox was only targeted twice. But in the games prior to that, they got Knox involved in the offense a little more. He had seven targets against Cleveland. He had six targets against Minnesota. I think they'll try and get back to that because Knox is such a big part of this offense when it's clicking well. And if we know one thing, Bill Belichick likes to take away your best option. So I expect a lot of attention to be on Stefan Diggs. And with that, I looked back at some of the last few games that Knox has played against New England in that perfect game in the playoffs. Knox had five targets for five receptions. I think he gets involved here. And at plus money, I think there's worth the investment. So Knox over three and a half receptions. I also have Matthew Judon over three quarters of a sack. So I'm betting that Matthew Judon will have a sack or I guess two half sacks would also equal it. It's minus 110. Judon leads the league in sacks. He's got 13 on the season. There's not a whole lot of logic that goes into this. Josh was sacked by an average at best Lions line a couple times last week. Um, Judon's great. Um, he has feasted this season. Um, and he's either going to be going up against David Questenberry or even Spencer Brown. Both have struggled this year. Uh, I think this one's kind of a layup. I think Judon will get a sack on Thursday night. I also like the Bills team total over 23 and a half. 
I'm not crazy about the total for the game, and I'm not even so sure about the Bills covering the minus three and a half. I've seen minus four. Um, so I'm just going to take the Bills team total over. For as much as the Bills offense has struggled this season, they have still scored over 24. They've scored at least 24 points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The last seven games, five times, six times. Going all the way back to the Ravens was the last time the Ravens and the Jets were the only games that didn't score over 24 points. Again, 28, 31, 30, 20, 27, 24, 38, 23. So I just like the fact I think the Bills offense for as much as they have struggled. We saw New England kind of get exposed um, by the Vikings. So I would like to take that over. I think the Bills score four touchdowns. I don't think that's asking too much, especially for at times they have scored a lot of points when it hasn't looked easy. So that is my four pack of plays for the Thursday night game. As for the rest of the games, we'll fire through them real quick. I'm trying to make these videos a little quicker. Again, please share them with your friends, like comment, subscribe, comment in. If you've been following along this year, or if this is your first time, sorry, my hair looks like a mess, but 56% guys. I mean, come on. All right. On Sunday, my six pack begins with Pittsburgh minus one. I just think they're playing solid. Kenny Pickett looks like he knows what he's doing. Um, they're, they seem like a team that has some direction moving forward. Um, Tomlin still has the guys playing hard. TJ Watt is back. They are playing the Falcons. They seem to be going in the opposite direction. Heartbreaking loss for the Falcons last week against the Commanders. Had the Commanders. Shout out to them. So I will take Pittsburgh minus one at the Falcons. I was tempted to take the Titans plus the four and a half points, but instead I will just take the game total over 44 and a half. Um, the Eagles have had trouble stopping the run. The Titans couldn't get anything going on the ground last week against the Bengals. The Eagles play some really fun games, some high scoring games. I like the over in this one. I would lean towards the Titans, but I will just take the over 44 and a half. I will also take the Dolphins plus four at San Francisco. I don't know if the 49ers can win a shootout. I just don't. I think this is a high scoring game. To what extent, I don't know, but I'm going to back actually the better quarterback and I believe the better play caller in this one, and that is Tua and McDaniel. I've said it before. We have, we have been on the Dolphins quite a bit this year. Their team total, we were on the team total. How about that? Team total last week and threaded the needle and hit the under. That's how you do it. So I will take the Dolphins plus the four points to have a statement win against the 49ers on the road. I also like the Vikings and Jets over 44 and a half. Um, the Vikings can be exposed defensively as what we have seen recently. Uh, the Bills had their way with them. The Patriots had their way with them. So I'm, I think that Mike White can have his way with um, this Vikings team as well. So I will take the over 44 and a half. I feel that number feels right. Um, I just think this is a 25, 24 game. Uh, so I will take the over in that one. The one that has no logic behind it. I'm just going to give it to you. Cause I'm going to tell you, I bet all these plays. I have all these games that I give you. I bet them myself. I will take the Rams plus seven and a half. All the smart people, the analytics, um, a lot of money is being bet on the Rams. A lot of the sharp money, we will follow the sharp betters in this one. And finally, the Chiefs minus two. The Chiefs have just been dominant in November and December over the last, I don't know, since Patrick Mahomes came into the league. They're going to Cincinnati. Cincinnati comes up coming off this emotional road win in Tennessee. Um, I like the Chiefs to just go in there and get a win, get some revenge from the AFC Championship last year, and get a win. Real quick, we'll run through them one last time. Josh Allen over rushing attempts of seven and a half. Dawson Knox over receptions, three and a half. Matthew Judon over three quarters of a sack. Bills team total over 23 and a half. Pittsburgh minus one. Titans Eagles over 44 and a half. Dolphins plus four. Vikings Jets over 44 and a half. Rams plus seven and the hook. Make sure you note that. Got the hook. And the Chiefs minus two. So again, please like, comment, subscribe. Again, guys, 57, 42, and two. 57, 42, and two. It's not bad. 
Shout out Brian Dable and the Giants. But we'll stay away from them this week. I usually bet the Commanders and the Giants seemingly every week. We'll stay away this week as they play against one another. Please be sure, again, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your favorite or your best bet is for the week in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. And best of luck to all your bets this weekend.